they drop out because they don't think it's worth their time. And again, half of this audience, after 10 years, if they get a job, they'll end up getting a job that didn't require them going to college in the first place. Half. That sounds like a scam. Why are they here in the first place? Why are they borrowing all this money and spending four years on a university just to go get a job that never would have required them to get the degree or the debt or the four years being spent on campus? What's up, YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. Today, guys, we're back again to new video, guys. Today, we're going to check out Charlie Kicks warning. Your college degree could lead to Starbucks. Okay. This is going to be interesting. I love to check this out with you guys. Let's get right into it. What exactly do you mean by college is a scam? Um, good question. I wrote a whole book about it. Uh, largely, the value proposition that you are being offered is not worth the time or the money that many of you are forking over. There's exceptions to that generally, but uh, for example, the vast majority of students that graduate from four-year college, uh, they'll end up getting a job if they get a job at all in a, uh, in a career or a job that doesn't require a college degree. So henceforth asking the question, why do they go to college in the first place? Okay, now what do you mean about uh, jobs that don't require a college degree? Like working at Starbucks as a barista. Okay. Uh, so what exactly uh, do you mean by uh, the value proposition not being sufficient for the uh, cost of going to college? Yeah, so I mean going thirty, forty, fifty thousand dollars into debt, uh, that's a significant thing. And hopefully if you're gonna do that, uh, you're gonna be able to prove and have some value uh, for that for that reason. So for example, there was a study that just came out in the last day, the 16 lowest paying job majors. Um, and the vast majority of those are actually what kids study in college right, communications, liberal arts, things of that nature. And so the question is, why even go to college at all if you're just basically getting a credential that is worth less and less money in the marketplace? Now, if you study engineering, if you study finance, terrific, but the scam also is just beyond the financial value proposition. It's um, the ideological pollutants that are spread on college campuses and the, uh, let's just say, some of the left-wing indoctrination that occurs here as well. Okay, so, Moving aside from uh, that red herring there, uh, I myself okay. am a uh, communication major, and uh, I am very well aware of the uh, communication majors who just take a four-year degree and uh, go into jobs that d either don't require a degree or... Try to get as close to the mic as you can. Is that okay? Thank you. It's okay. Yeah. But anyways, uh, I'm aware of the communication majors who only get a bachelor's degree and if they're lucky they're only able to get research assistant jobs in communication or not even get a job that requires a uh, degree at all but would not those who uh, continue on to get masters and doctorates in communication who get hundreds uh, who get a hundred thousand dollar a year or two hundred thousand dollar a year uh, research jobs would that not counteract uh, the total economic, uh, socioeconomic value of those who just go into college and then end up Starbucks baristas? Uh, potentially, yeah, I mean, also master's degrees are expensive, right? PhDs are expensive, so you're looking at least at $150,000 to $200,000 in debt, minimum, uh, if you're gonna do that. And if that's, if that's the path you wanna take, so be it. But there are 11 million job openings in the country right now that pay $80,000 or more that don't require a college degree. 11 million job openings. And I don't think we're always telling our young people, you know, the next generation, that these jobs are available to you. It's an, it's an expectation that you go to four-year college. And in fact, you're treated and almost considered to be dumb if you don't go to four-year university. And I think that's a big mistake. Mm -hmm. And not to mention the vast majority, 41% of kids that enter college do not graduate. There, there's something deeply wrong with the system. So, so True. From what you're telling me, yeah, though, final point. Yeah, from, uh, really from what you're telling me, though, it sounds more like... Uh, <laughs> The problem lies not in uh, college itself, but rather the individual paths that people choose who look at a situation, make the wrong decisions, don't stay in school as long as they uh, need to in order to get the career that they want. Or they drop out because they don't see the value. They drop out because they don't think it's worth their time. And again, half of this audience, after 10 years, if they get a job, they'll end up getting a job that didn't require them going to college in the first place. Half. 
that sounds like a scam. Why are they here in the first place? Why are they borrowing all this money and spending four years on a university just to go get a job that never would have required them to get the degree or the debt or the four years being spent on campus? Thanks for the time. I appreciate it. Thank you. All right. Okay, this was interesting to watch. Uh, thanks to what um, Charlie said. A lot of people who went to college right now, they are not using that degree. A lot of people. A lot. So, um, another thing I don't, really don't like is that people who do not go to college, you see them as dumb or stupid or they are not wise. They don't know what is happening. They are experience. They, they, they make them feel less of themselves. It's people who don't who do not go to college. A lot of people want to like discriminate against them and talk low of them. The you are you are you are an illiterate. They use that word to you are an illiterate. So you don't because someone did not go to college does not mean the person is not smart, is not clever, or it's not going to make more money than you, or it's not going to live better life than you that that studied four years in college. So you don't you don't categorize like that. Um, Charlie' point of view is that. There is really no point of you going to college when, when you are done college, you are going to do a job that did not require you going to college in the first place. And I have seen that as happen. A lot of people, it has happened to a lot of people. I've, I've seen people dropping out from college because they feel like it's not worth the time. I've seen a lot of people finishing school and still not using that degree, just keeping it. I'm doing jobs that do not require them going to college. So there are points that Charlie was actually making out from here. Uh, but at the same time, it's still good to go to college, especially if you um, has, have passion for it. For instance, now you want to be a doctor, you want to be a lawyer, you want to make a massive difference. Massive difference. Such courses are very expensive. To pay their tuition fee, they are very expensive. If you have the passion, if you are doing it not be basically because of the money, but because of your impact in the society, that is what we should look at. The impact in the society is not because you are going to make $100,000 in a year or $200,000 in a year. What is the impact you are creating into the society? That is what we should be looking at. So um, if you have, if you feel like, okay, you are going to create a massive impact, go to college. Sure. But don't go to college because of the money you are going to make after the college. No. That is the bad narrative of going to school in the first place. Just go to college because you want to create a massive impact in society. As simple as that. So this was an amazing video to watch. Comment down below and think about this video. Give us a thumbs up. Share this video to as many as you can. Subscribe to our channel. I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay safe. I just bought a bag like an old lady. I'm back wood smoking. I don't own papers. Pass that 808. That don't, don't shake her. Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater. Baby mama bugging. I'm so quick to hit ignore. Buku bitch, in my bed. I got scales on.